scaring a rock star, being mentioned in a song, refusing a wedding invite. Angelina Jolie may have left these relationships behind, but not without a few strong impressions. Johnny Lee Miller wasn't Angelina Jolie's first significant partner. The Lara Croft Tomb Raider star dated and even lived with an unknown man for several years in her teens, but the British celeb was the first to have his name mentioned in public. The pair first met on the set of 1995 cyber thriller Hackers, and after a brief separation, they decided to get married a year later. Jolie famously sported a white t-shirt emblazoned with Miller's name in blood for the occasion. Perhaps unsurprisingly, considering the rather hasty circumstances, the co-stars didn't last the distance, and by 1999, they were officially divorced. However, the pair have remained on good terms ever since, and in 2021, rumors began to surface that their platonic relationship had once again turned romantic. Photos taken of the pair leaving each other's houses on several occasions apparently provided the proof. Miller has largely refused to comment about his connection to Jolie, but in 2017, he did at least confirm one thing in an interview with Stuff. Yeah, we're still friends. That's all you're getting. Angelina Jolie once told Girlfriends magazine that her first walk down the aisle would have been with Jenny Shimizu had her Hackers co-star not got there first. The pair became romantically involved during the filming of Foxfire in 1996, the same year that the future Oscar winner wed Johnny Lee Miller, but this wasn't your typical Hollywood love triangle. Shimizu later revealed that Jolie took both herself and Miller to dinner to lay all her feelings out on the table. Of course, in the end, Jolie ended up parting company with both by distancing herself from the supermodel and then divorcing her husband in 1999. Still, just like Miller, Shimizu maintained a civil relationship with Jolie. In 2014, she even offered her an invite to her wedding to brand consultant Michelle Harper. Sadly, the actor declined, much to the bride's disappointment. Shimizu later divulged to Dish Nation, saying, "'It's not like I wanted her to walk me down the aisle or anything, but it would have been a really cool thing if she'd come.'" In 1997, Angelina Jolie played a stripper in the music video for the Rolling Stones single, Anybody Seen My Baby? And perhaps unsurprisingly, she left the band's famously womanizing lead singer completely smitten. Mick Jagger was married to Jerry Hall at the time. In fact, the supermodel was pregnant with their fourth child together. But according to reports, that didn't stop the rocker from pursuing Jolie. He allegedly kept calling the star until she caved into a rather underwhelming meetup in Florida. Undeterred, Jagger continued to leave various pleading phone messages in which a friend of Jolie's mother's claims he was virtually sobbing, according to the Daily Mail. The tears must have had an effect as the two apparently continued to see each other on and off for the next two years. In Christopher Anderson's biography, Mick, The Wildlife and Mad Genius of Jagger, Jagger explained why he was so infatuated with Jolie. She scares me a little. I like that. Angelina Jolie's eventful love life took another twist at the turn of the century when she exchanged vows with another Hollywood star, Billy Bob Thornton. We uh, signed our life away to each other on our anniversary. Mm -hmm. Even it was notarized. The pair who had co-starred in the previous year's Pushing Tin had only dated for a couple of months before deciding to marry. Unfortunately, once again, this marriage didn't last long either. The two actors headed for the divorce courts in 2003, but just as she did with her first ex-husband, Johnny Lee Miller, Jolie remained on good terms with Orton. Indeed, in an unusually candid 2018 interview with the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the latter confirmed he had nothing but fond memories of their romance. That was a great time. Angie is still a friend of mine, and she's a great person, and she's done so much. She makes movies that are important to her, whether they succeed or fail. She still does what she believes in, and I'll always respect her for that." So why exactly did Thornton and Jolie call it quits? Well, Thornton claimed that it was their ways of living rather than their personalities that clashed. Hers is a global lifestyle, and mine is an agoraphobic lifestyle. So that's really, that's the only reason we're probably not still together. Val Kilmer, who played King Philip II to her Queen Olympias in the 2004 historical epic Alexander, was rumored to have become romantically involved with Angelina Jolie. And he didn't exactly diffuse such talk in his memoir, I'm Your Huckleberry, published 16 years later. Describing the nature of his relationship with Jolie, Kilmer poetically wrote, I was rescued from an icy inferno of solitude by another angel. When people ask me what Angelina is like, I always say that she's like other women and other superstars, but just more. More gorgeous, more wise, more tragic, more magic, more grounded. 
Is it worth it? Worth knowing people who require weeks of effort to understand even a little? Yes. And the gushing didn't stop there. Kilmer also admitted that he couldn't wait to lock lips with Jolie before they met, and even tried to persuade director Oliver Stone to include more sex scenes between their regal characters. He also described the humanitarian, who'd just adopted Sun Maddox at the time of their apparent courtship, as the perfect picture of unapproachable stardom and impossibly chic maternal instinct. Hollywood got its biggest power couple in 2006 when Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-stars Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie confirmed they were officially together with the news that they were expecting a child. The couple got engaged six years later in 2012, and in 2014, they finally said I do. Sadly, their wedding appeared to have jinxed things. Indeed, in 2016, the A-listers separated. Three years later, they officially divorced. And things have since gotten ugly thanks to lawsuits involving everything from domestic abuse to winery sales. In a 2017 chat with GQ, however, Pitt admitted that he didn't want to split from Jolie, saying, "...the first urge is to cling on, and then you've got a cliché. If you love someone, set them free. Now I know what it means by feeling it." Pitt also appeared to jinx himself again in the same interview when he claimed he and Jolie were trying to work their family arrangements out amicably. I heard one lawyer say no one wins in court, it's just a matter of who gets hurt worse. And it seems to be true. You spend a year just focused on building a case to prove your point and why you're right and why they're wrong, and it's just an investment in vitriolic hatred. I just refuse. And fortunately, my partner in this agrees. Since then, however, the only comments he's made about Jolie have been through his lawyers. Few would have put Hollywood glamour puss turned acclaimed director Angelina Jolie and one-time pineapple-haired R&B crooner The Weeknd together. But in 2021, the press went into overdrive with reports that the unlikely pair were dating. Jolie appeared to sidestep the question when asked explicitly by E! News Daily Pop about her connection to the man-born Abel McConan Tesfaye while promoting the superhero film The Eternals. I've been seeing my cast members look so gorgeous, and look at Lauren, she's just amazing, so I'm, I'm loving on everybody. But her rumored beau got everyone's tongues waggering again in early 2022 when he dropped Dawn FM on the track Here We Go Again, The Weeknd sings, My new girl, she a movie star. I loved her right, make her scream like Nev Campbell. But when I make her laugh, swear it cures my depressing thoughts. Cause baby girl, she a movie star. Unsurprisingly, many listeners believed that all this talk of bedroom action with an A-lister was confirmation that he and Jolie really were a thing. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.